what can I take instead of the poison blood pressure pills I'm taking? The doctor said not to stop them as I could have a stroke or heart attack. Yeah, that's a great question. So Dottie, uh, thank you for asking about high blood pressure. I will tell you, uh, if you haven't followed him yet, Dr. Thomas E. Le Levy is a 45-year board-certified cardiologist, and he's got multiple books that you should consider purchasing, uh, and you can learn more about him. Look up Dr. Thomas E. Levy, and it's a cardiologist, and all he does is write books on how to cure cardiovascular diseases, prevent diseases all naturally without drugs. In fact, at the thedoctorartishow.com about three years ago, him and I uh, collaborated and created a what's called 10 for 10, a 10-minute video with a PDF. It's for $10, and we actually outline for you on drugs, off of prescription drugs, what are your next steps to actually reverse high blood pressure? But a couple key principles here I want you to understand, and it's very important for your audience. Seth Holhouse made a very important point at the very beginning of this uh, presentation. He said, we have been lied to so many times in medicine. One of the greatest lies ever told to humanity by medicine is that salt is bad for you and that salt increases your blood pressure. It does not, and you have been lied to. Now, I have to say this because, for example, let me set the stage here, Seth, and I will not take so long to answer all these questions, but this is a big one. Uh, high blood pressure drugs are a massive, massive boon for the big pharma drug complex. They sell tons of these drugs. In 2016, Tel Aviv University, Seth, decided to do the largest research study ever on high blood pressure. 2016, it's only eight years ago. They actually followed 500,000 people in 49 different countries for 10 years. The people with the best average blood pressure were those who ate the most salt in their diet every day. So let me give you some perspective. The FDA tells you that you can only eat up to like 22, 2400 milligrams of salt a day. The American Heart Association says it's only 1100 to 1200 milligrams a day. That's half. So you have the FDA saying 22 to 2400. The uh, American Medical Association and the American Heart Association is telling you half of that is only good. Well, the truth is Tel Aviv Israel figured out that the actual best amount of salt that you should be consuming every day to keep your blood pressure normal is between 6,000 milligrams and 9,000 milligrams of salt. Now, just for perspective, that's eight times more than the American Heart Association tells you you should eat every day. And that is four times more than the FDA tells you that you should take. However, <laughs> if you, Dottie, had a heart attack today or had stroke-level high blood pressure and you called an ambulance, you know what the first thing there is they're going to inject inside of you when you get in the ambulance and they take you to the hospital? Saline. Without ever talking to a doctor, they're going to inject you with saline. You know what saline is? 9,000 milligrams of salt in that bag of water. And if you have extremely high blood pressure at stroke level, Seth, did you know they do two of those bags in what they call a push? They will push 18,000 milligrams of salt inside your body, and guess what happens? Your blood pressure starts coming down. Now, the truth is, every single patient on earth who is considered sick for any reason or dehydrated and goes to, for any reason to a hospital, every patient only has one thing in common. Just close your eyes and think about it. Every disease, every condition, they all have only one thing in common being pumped into their body the whole time they're in there. Salt, 24-7, 9,000 milligrams per bag, and they're charging you. They only, they only are charged $2 a bag to buy those bags of salt. You know what the average adult charge for one bag is in a hospital in America? $893, they bill your insurance for a $2 bag of salt water. Children are charged $400 by their insurance. It's the largest racket in medicine. So if you would please consider increasing your salt intake and potassium and take your kidneys are what release water out of the body. The kidneys operate with what are called sodium potassium pumps. What's another word for sodium, Seth? Salt. All right, so you have salt potassium pumps that are required in your kidneys to pump out water. And Seth, what happens is, is when we start depriving ourselves of salt because the world tells us to eat less salt and our doctors all tell us to eat less salt, need a low sodium diet, our kidneys don't get the salt they need and we will start retaining water. And as we retain water, there's now increased pressure on our blood vessels. And guess what the majority of Americans are put on? Diuretics like Lasix to make you pee. Do you know what Lasix is? It's patented salt. Hydrochlorothiazide, it's patented salt, HCTZ. This is your diuretics. So they want you to swallow their prescription salt in a tablet form. They don't want you eating it in your food. It's one of the greatest lies in medicine. So just, you know, that's number one. Number two, you need to be on magnesium. Magnesium is the number one thing that lowers blood pressure, period. What's the amount of magnesium? And anybody that has high blood pressure, you're deficient in it. Magnesium, you take your weight in pounds, man in America, woman in America, take your weight in pounds, divide it by 2.2 pounds, that number, your weight divided by 2.2, you multiply that times 10.6 milligrams, and that's how much magnesium you need to be eating, swallowing every day for the rest of your life. Wow. And it relaxes exactly. your blood vessels and lowers your blood, your blood pressure. Yep. Also, it helps you sleep. Like, and that's, so like, we take it almost every night. We take Calm. Uh, and even you know, we've, with my, my daughter, she has some constipation issues. And the doctor's like, oh, I'll put her on Miralax. And it's like, you look in the Miralax, and it's, it's treacherous what it does. And we found that give her a little bit of magnesium and it fixes everything. It's great. And she sleeps oh, check this, yeah. oh, check this out. This is for Dottie. I hope you're, hope you're listening, Dottie, still. All right. So you learned in our elementary schools or if you're homeschooled, you should have learned at some point from your science teacher the periodic table of elements. And I'm setting the stage for the rest of these questions because in the periodic table of elements, that big cool chart we all learned and looked at and had to memorize at some point, on that chart, we learned that the periodic table of elements are all the elements on Earth that are required for life to be sustained. Hey, Seth, guess what's on that chart called the periodic table of elements? Magnesium and salt. Magnesium is on the left column. You'll see it second to the left. You'll see magnesium, Mg. And you'll find salt on there. Salt's actual uh, symbol is Na, and it's in the first column, sodium, right there, Na. So sodium and magnesium are required elements for your body to live. What else do you find on there? Calcium, iodine, hydrogen, oxygen. I mean, you find all these things that are required for life. So as we go along, you're going to see mang manganese, 
cobalt. You're going to see all kinds of minerals. These are the things that make up life, and your body requires them. You know what's not on this list? Lasix, Advil, Tylenol, COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Those aren't required for life. They're not on the periodic table of elements. These are the elements in the dirt that gets drawn up into the plants you eat or are supposed to be eating. And if you're not going to eat the plants, the fruits and the vegetables, you have to supplement these minerals on this table every day because your body requires it. The less of those you put into your body, the sicker you're going to be and the more diseases you have, period. So this is why we talk about supplements so much, just so you know. Perfect. Great answer.